This is Randy Bell with the Courier Podcast, the place to come for the latest Clinton news. As the cost of living goes up, so does the cost of having your trash collected. The Clinton Board of Aldermen voted February 20th to approve a request from Waste Management to adjust its fees by 5.39 percent based on an increase in the Consumer Price Index. It's going to mean an extra 95 cents a month for household garbage collection, pushing that rate to $18.56 with a 22 cent increase for recyclables pickup, which will now cost $4.23. The commercial rate for small businesses will climb by $1.38 to $26.92. A provision allowing the CPI adjustment was part of the company's contract, which took effect in 2022. They're well within the contractual rights to do so. Every contract I've ever had with a garbage company would allow that. It's the first time I remember them ever doing it since 2013. Mayor Phil Fisher. The city decided to put the new rates into effect with the March billing cycle, even though waste management wanted to make the adjustment retroactive to January 1st. War II Alderman Jim Martin said he doesn't like the cost adjustment provision in the contract and would have preferred to see some specific cost figures from the company. It doesn't seem like using the CPI is fair. If you take gasoline, for an example, Mississippi is one of the lowest states in the, uh, in the, in the country. And so if they're averaging everybody else that's higher than us, then we kind of get hit with that CPI increase on that, even though uh, waste management is not actually experiencing that. The Auto Club AAA monitors gas prices nationwide and says Mississippi's average price in late February ranks second lowest in the country about 41 cents below the national average. Martin also wasn't happy that waste management waited more than six weeks into the new year to request a retroactive rate adjustment. It puts us in a bind. And Martin notes the city might have to absorb the rate increase for January and February or boost rates temporarily to make up the deficiency. He's also concerned about the legality of a retroactive rate adjustment. I'm Randy Bell.